Now today, we continue talk about brass vessel inscription in the Shang Dynasty. Let's begin. Chinese brass casting and pottery advanced during the Shang Dynasty, with brass typically being used for rich, significant items, rather than primarily for utilitarian good, as far back as around 1500 BC, the early Shang Dynasty engaged in a large scale production of the bronze vessel and weapons. This production requires a large labor force that could handle the meaning, refining, and Respiration of the necessary cob cross. This intent cre created a need, a need for official making that could oversee both skill, artisans, and craftsmen. The Shang royal count and artistry create requested a vast number of different bronze vessels for various ceremony, purpose, and event of the region divination. Ceremony ruler even decided how many brass counter of each type of no nobleman of a center rank could own. With the increased amount of the brass available, the army could also better create itself with an assortment of bronze weapon weaponry. Bronze weapons were an integrated part of the Shang society. The infantry of the Shang dynasty were armed with a variety of storm and bronze weaponry, including Mao. It means spare, yue, it means archers, ge, it means dagger archers, and bronze or laser hammers. Bronze was also used for the fighting to the spoke wheeled chariots, which appear in the chain around 1200 BC. The traitors first appear in the China around 1200 BC during the reign of the Wu Ding. There is a little doubt that the traitor and the China through the center Asia and northern steppe. Although the Shang depended upon the military scale of their nobility, Shang ruler could mobilizing the masses of the Tom Dovier and rural commons, commoners as conscript laborers and soldiers for both campaigns and defense and conquest. A rich Christ and another state rulers were obligation to finish their local garrison with all the necessary equipment and armors. The king of the Shang dynasty minted an armed force of about a thousand soldiers and their capital, and personally led this force into battle. Furthermore, a rudimentary military bureaucracy was needed in order to master force regain from three or five thousand soldiers for world campaigns to thirteen thousand soldiers for surprising rebellions. <laughs> Inscription on Shang bronze vessel are of a fairly a unified style, making it possible to be treated as a Shang bronze vessel script. Also, great difference exists between typical character and certain instances of the claim names 
or unbranched, like earlier period or conscript, the constructor and authentication of individual graphs varied greatly in the Shang Bronze Vessel inscription, so that when we found a particular character writing differently each time rather than instantaneously. As the Orkbone script, characters could be written face left or right, 10, 90 degrees, and sometimes even flipped vertically. Generally, we saw alteration in meaning. These inscriptions are almost all cast, but rather engraved and are relatively short and thin. Some were mainly to identify the names of a claim or a other, other name. Typical inscription include the make claim names and the past commandings turtle of the ancestor who is commemorated by the making and use of vessel. A name usually writing in highly photographic script, reading the former and complex Shang Dynasty script, just like it is writing mainly on bamboo. The salt clay of the piece moss used to produce the Shang to early Zhou bronze vessel was suitable for retaining much of the complexity of the British writing character in books and other media of the time. With the hand, bony surface of the urban was difficult to engrave. Engraved supreme character from carvers to lineage. In addition, some of the character that graved on Shang Bronze Whistle may have been more complex than normal due to the particularly conservative usage in this ritual medium or when inscribing recognition, calm scholar instead attribute this to purely decretive consideration. Shang Brown's visual script may thus be considered a form script they are far more complex than the Shang script on the Urkbun. The bronze whistle inscription of the Shang dynasty engraved on the richer whistle was a former writing language, an integrated part of the Shang dynasty bronze richer whistle, and its German material to the study of the Shang bronze whistle writing and ritual system for some ritual practice, particular system, and social structure are the really are the reflex, reflect in this bronze vessel inscription. Generally, the Yishu bronze vessel are predicted into four phases, and the inscription appear in the second phase. The number of the inscription written from one or four characters with two or three characters being the most common. The content of the inscription include the claim emblems, private name, date name, state country name, and so on. Some scholars have argued that one word inscription on bronze vessel are mainly from Xia and Shang areas, which is most, which is most, a possible read to appear, appearly this view to the Yishu bronze vessel in the second period. In the middle and late phases, this is the second and fourth one, the Shang dynasty inscription gradually appeared in long inscription with study of four. Let us illustrate how the Shang inscription 
reflects the region ideological and particular system of the Shang Dynasty. For example, the Shang bronze vessel Si Si Bi Qi Yu has an inscription of, of 42 characters on its feet. The inscription is as follows. I read in Chinese at first. Yi Si Wang Yue Zun Wen Wu Di Yi Yi Zai Zhao Da Ting Gao Yi Yi Ri Bing Wu Mo Ding Wei Zhu Ji Yu Wang Zai Zhen Bi Qi Si Bei Zai Si Yue Wei Wang Si Si Yi Ri the lead of this vessel has a five chart, Ya Mo Chua Fu Ding. Ya Mo Chua Fu Ding. Ya Mo Chua is a family name of the owner of the bronze vessel. And Fu Ding is the ancestor of the sacrifice. The inscription records that the king of the Shang sacrificed his ancestor, Wen Wu Di, and that the king of the Shang reward Bi Qi. Wen Wu Di is King Yi, father Yi, father of the Shang King Xin. The brother whistle was made in the first years of the King Xin in the Shang Dynasty. The inscription remember of the Yi sacrificial activities held by the Shang King Xin is in Zhao Da Ting to pay homage to his father, Shang King Wen Wu Di. The King Xin personally administer his cooking etiquette from the beginning of the Yi Si stage to Bing Wu stage. The next day, the King Xin proceeded over the ceremony of putting food or space into the cooker. On the third day of the Ding Wei, he used bold, bold cooking method to slowly store the food. So after the food was thoroughly cooked, he dedicated it to his dead father. The second god. The ceremony lasts three days in total. The word go that appeared in the inscribed of the Shang Dynasty has another meaning. It means go sacrifice. So far, the anomalies of the go sacrifice sacrifice has mostly appeared in the inscription, inscription of the Shang Dynasty. In the inscription of the Wasting Zhou Dynasty, only one case was found in the earliest Bao Yu and Bao Zhen. It can be seen that the Go sacrifice should be a sacrificial activity unique in the Shang Dynasty. According to the above, above mentioned inscription, between the gold sacrifice was the activity, activities, the Wen Wu Di Yi. The Yi here refilled the cooking meat. Therefore, the so called Zun Wen Wu Di Yi is to prepare meat for the respected late father Wen Wu Di Yi. The main purpose of these sacrificial activities is to practice. Go Yi, which is the primary link of the Go sacrifice. So called Go Yi means that in the event of the Go sacrifice, the sacrificial father Wen Wu Di must appear, and this will release the enjoyed meat of the delicious meat by the deceased father. Now, please notice. Wen Wu Di Yi, this Yi, uh, and Go Yi, Yi, uh, and first Yi, it means meat, and Go Yi, 
E is a name. Ah, is this pronounce pronunciation is those two chart is different. When the victim descended in poor Wen Wu did not appear, as you know, according to the Shang habit, he had to find someone to pretending to be him. This also becomes a common practice in ancestor worship activities at that time. Here too, the role of the scorp, who should be a famous, especially set up in the ancestor worship activities, she represents the appearance of the worshipped ancestor to realizing direct commemoration with the intended ancestor. The same sacrificial activities also appear in the bronze vessel of the Shang dynasty, Er Si Bi Qi Yu, and then Si Yi, and then Sao Zi Fang Ding, and then Fu Yi Gui, next one, Feng Yi, Next one, Bao Yu and Bao Zun. In the early Western Zhou dynasty and the other bronze vessel inscription, let's uh, analyze again the gold sacrificial activity that appeared in the inscription of Er Si Bi Qi Yu. The inscription of Er Si Bi Qi Yu is as follows. I read Chinese at first, Bing Chen, Wang Ling Bi Qi. Zhuliyufeng is a central link of this sacrifice. The, this inscription side on being Shen's day in the first months of the second years of King Shang, the King Shang ordered, ordered Bi Qi to go to Feng to some place, to go to Feng to hold the Zhu Li's sacrificial activities. After that, Bi Qi hunted in the field of Yun, some place, Yun. And Bi Qi received first skill, skill shell. Here, five skill shell is a money, a lot of money in that thing. Therefore, Bi Qi made his brass vessel to com commemorate it. Then, the king of Shang held a gold sacrifice. And finally, the spouse of the descended Tai Yi, Wu Wu Bing, appeared. Based on the record of the above, two ex examples of the gold sacrificial activities in the Shang dynasty, we can summarize the gold sacrificial. The first is the location of the gold sacrificial. The location of the gold sacrifice activities recorded in the above three bronze vessel inscription is not specific but it's chosen and written down. The second is the time of the gold sacrifice. The time of the gold sacrifice recorded in the above three bronze vessel inscription is not specific, but rounded, but again wrongly. The third is the analyze the type of the gold sacrifice is acudance with the existence bronze vessel inscription, the type of the gold sacrificial filled into categories, Yong Yi and Wu Yi. However, Si Si Bi Qi Yu and Si Yi, these two bronze vessels, two bronze vessels, ah, this Si Yi, Yi is a bronze name, Bronze vessel name, special name, Yi, uh, is Yu Yi. This Yi, Yi is a meat. Uh, but 
，二四必七有意思，无疑 ，without meat 啊，无疑 ，and then 则四疑 with 有疑 ，is a pig， 嗯 ，finally <coughs>。There is the gender of this person who was go sacrificial. However, the central part of the activities is the appearance of the sacrifice sacrificed. The re recipient recipient of the 四四必七有意思，一 that is Shang King of 文武帝乙 The recipient. Of 二四必七有 is 必丙 and the recipient of 四乙 is 必戊 The three descended ancestors have one father and two mother. It can be seen that the recipient of the goal sacrificial can be both father and mother. Regardless of male or female, or female. Ah,、uh, last one from the above four point, we have a rough understanding of the goal sacrificial sacrifice. I related issue recorded in the bronze vessel inscription of the late Yin Shang Dynasty period, which play an important auxiliary role in depending. The understanding of the Yin people, advocating ghost habit, so-called Yin Ren Shang Gui in Chinese. Reading from the bronze vessel inscription of the Shang Dynasty, the calendar of the Yin Shang era used a combination of the stem, months, and the year of the king sacrifice, sacrifice at that time. We. Delineate it as the in calendar, based on the general pattern that the calendar is consistent with the dynasty. For example, the inscription of the chronicle appearing in the famous bronze vessel, Shu Si Zi Ding, the Wei Wang Nian Si, here refer to the. Twenty years of ancestor worship held after a center generation of the Shang King ancestor, the throne. Please know that it order is the first day. Next, the next month, the last is year. Look again, and the and the time inscription is 二四必七有 is the Wei Wang 二四 here here. Refer to the second year of the ancestor worshipped after a center generation of the Shang King ancestor, the throne. The chronology order to first day, next one is months. The finally is year. Here it's the same as the customer in the Yin and Shang Urban inscription, which provide the ancestor. Authenticity of the bronze vessel inscription. For example, the record of the inscription in 896 piece of the Guomo Rose in Chu Cui Bian. He said, "Gui, Chou, Bu, Zhen, Jin, Sui, Shou, Nian, Hong, Ji, Zai, Ba, Yue." Wei Wang Ba Si. The three word is Sui, Nian, and Si appear typically here and sometimes. Only the word Si in Wei Wang Ba Si here is the meaning of the historical chronology. The previous Nian emphasizing the harvest and the repentance of the grace. Please pay attention to this feature. The order of the time word in the Yin Shang Bronze Vessel inscription is also the order of the day. Middle is months. The last one, the finally, is year.、Mm. 
So the historical value of the bronze vessel inscription of the Shang Dynasty is embodied in the Emperor Yi and Emperor Xin period. The family bronze vessel inscription Shu Si Zi Ding records the true history of the Emperor of the Shang Dynasty. It was an earth in the sacrifice pit on Hou Gang village, Gao Lou Zhuang, and Anyang City, Henan Province in 1959, with a height of the 48 cm and a diameter of the 19 of the 39.5 cm. There are 13 characters of bronze vessel inscription on it in a wheel. Another example is a famous bronze vessel, Xiao Chen, Yu Xi Zun, which was unearthed in the Liangshan village, Shouzhang County, Shandong Province during the Daoguang period of the Qing Dynasty, and is now housed in the Asia Art Museum of San Francisco in the United States. Among them, the explanation of the bronze vessel inscription in Xiao Chen Yu Xi Zun is as follows. I read in Chinese. Ding Si Wang Sheng Kui Jing Wang Tsu Xiao Chen Yu Kui Bei Wei Wang Lai Zheng Ren Fang Wei Wang Shi Si Yu Rong Ri. This bronze vessel inscription records the historical fact that Shang King's reward his minister Yu. This event happened when the king of the Shang conquered the Ren states. The location of the award is Kuijing. The reason for the reward seems to lead in during the subjugation of the Ren states, where the minister Yu accomplished military success and hearing the awards. This historical phase is now mentioned and now in the current Edition of the historical record in Benji and Bengbo Annals. According to the historical record of Urkbun, the Shang King's war of subjugation against Ren Stei occurred at the time of the Shang King, Xin. Therefore, the king here is the king of Shang Zhou. Uh, it's very famous. Uh, the last king of Shang, uh, Shang Zhou. Mm. Historical material record more of his brutality and inertia, and almost no record of his normal military activities and wars. No <clears throat> relying on historical date, on Urkbun and bronze vessel inscription, we can basically restored an important historical fate of the emperor of the Shang dynasty. In the bronze vessel inscription of the Shang dynasty, bronze vessel Yu Zu Ding Yu, it also records the historical phase that the Shang king reward the bro brothers with the Sumner surname as Bacon. The inscription of the bronze vessel in Inscription is Yu Zu Ding Yu is as follows. And first, I read in Chinese Xin Hai Wang Zai Yi Xiang Ling Yue Gui Fu Yu Wo Duo Gao Chu Shang Tsi Li Yung Zuo Yu Zu Ding Li Bing. Here, Gui Fu revealed to the meat that will be sacrificed in the Duo Gao Chu Mountain and reward to the deceased to the Yu Zu Ding. The term Si Zi once appeared in the bronze vessel inscription and history books of the Shang and Zhou dynasty. According to the 
interpretation of the Arya. The sixth of Su means inheritance. Her is a her to the ring. For the Shang and Zhou sacrifice societies, which sparsite set blood relationship and father son and father and son inheritance. The concept of the Si has very important legal significance. The interpretation of Si is generally based on the interpretation of Han Shu Zhu by Yan Shi Gu as a final conclusion. Si Zi Wei Di Zhang Zi Dang Wei Si Zhe Ye in Chinese. His main manifest in the historical book, such as historical record, the Ben Ji of the five emperor, which called Yao's son's name is Si Zi Dan Zhu in Chinese. The word Si Zi Dan Zhu that appeared here means the oldest son Dan Zhu, uh, the number one son Dan Zhu. The first famous bronze vessel inscription of Si Zi come from Shu Si Zi Ding of the Shang Dynasty. Let's analyze the relationship between the Si Zi and the own things here. I read in Chinese, for example, Bing Wu, Wang Shang, Shu Si Zi, Bei Nian Peng, Zai Jian Feng, Yong Zuo, Fu Gui, Bao Ding, Wei Wang, uh, Ji Jian, Da Shi, Zai Jiu Yue, Quan Yu. In the above mentioned bronze vessel inscription, three people appeared here. One king, next one is Shu Si Zi, last one is Father Gui. The king and Shu Si Zi are the relationship between the rewarder and the recipient. Shu Si Zi and Father Gui are the relationship between the Implement and uh, recipients and the relationship between King and Father Gui is un unclear. I don't know this relationship. Uh, it's likely to be a relationship between a manners and a minister, maybe. Uh, and the Quan Yu and the end of the inscription Further explained the claim of the Shu Si Zi, which is completely different from the claim we know well about the king of Shang. Therefore, the Si Zi appearing here and entirely the adult sons of the prince and mother father. Kui, Kui. Mm. Only they who have the right to inherit the throne of the princess are qualified to use the term Si Zi. There is the oldest son is qualif qualified to be an Si Zi. More than any other factor, it was an blessing of the Magnificent bronze vessel at Anyang that demonstrated the power and wealth of the Shang rulers. The vessel were used in divinatory ceremony for the sacrificial fishing of meat and wine, primarily to the spirit of, of claimed ancestors, especially those of the ruler of his family. They were probably kept in the ancestor hall of the clan, and in the some case, they were buried with their owner. Surprisingly, perhaps the bronze vessel we are now discussed in Shang Urkbun inscription, but by late Shang times, they sometimes came to bear shot. Cast 
dedicatory inscription providing the names of the waist tape, the pouches, and the ancestor to whom the whistle was dedicated. What may be a claim name is also often included, enclosed within an inscribed large square of uncentered meaning, but not called a ya xing. The common addition by early Zhou times of the phrases, my sons and great sons forever treasure and use it, provide evinced that most vessels were made organically to use in temple sacrificial rather than in buried. But the other vessel inscribed with Phenosmon's answers name of the nearly deceased were clearly intended for the tombs. The right to cast of process those vessels was probably confined to the royal house itself. Organically, but later was bestowed of locute lock governor, set up by the ruler. Still later, in the Zhou dynasty, the right was claimed by ruler of the feudal state, and indeed by anyone who was rich and powerful enough to cast his own wisdom. While many Shang ritual bronze vessels are planned or only partly ornaments, others are rich, decorated with variety of geometric and Zoomorphic subjects and a small number take the form of a bird or animal. The dominating subject is a Tao Tie, seeing the other as to stately the creature with face to face. The terms Tao Tie first appear in the late Zhou and is appeared related to the Ecclesiastical. Mythology, mythological, and the idea of the renew. The Song Dynasty philologist offered the unlikely interpretation that it represented a warning against gratomy. It embodies a special of the creature related to the ceremony sacrifice. The human future appeared only rarely in Shang Brown's vessel, usually in the grip of those powerful, zoomorphic creatures. The art of the Shang Brown's vessel began as a technological symbol, albeit sometimes quite illegitimate, certainly casting vessels that were clearly ceramic, Protopic, it reached a historical peak at the end of the Shang Dynasty, reflecting a long period of peace and stability at Anyang, a Shang capital. In the early 1950s, scholar Musk Loyal identified five phases or states in the evolution of Shang bronze vessel surface, deco, and casting techni technique. However, there is, this is a study of the art history, not a study of breaking history in the traditional sense. This is, what, this is why I especially want to make a, in particular. I also affirm that his research on the art history of Shang and Zhou bronze vessel provided the best opinion and contribution for the visiting academic community to understand the Shang dynasty. Now we study the Shang bronze vessel inscription. There are two main dates compilation that at the best I think one is Yin Wen Chun by Luo Zhenyu. 
and the other is Shang Dynasty Bronze Vessel Inscription. Shang Dai Jin Wen Quan Bian. Now I'm going to end my words today. If you have any question, please write to me. Okay, thank you, everyone.